Now, following Joyce's documentary on cervical cancer, the Lena House Clinic is calling for a national policy on the deadly disease. With advancement in medicine, the facility believes early immunization and screening will help in treating cervical cancer. Although Lena House uh, Clinic currently does not treat cervical cancer, they say they will soon take care of clients with this condition. Medical director of the center, Dr. Kweku Efriye, disclosed this on the sidelines of the opening of a new facility at Community 9 in Tema. There is more in this report. With its ultra-modern equipment, the health facility will offer laboratory, dentistry, sonography, among other general services. Lena House Clinic is expected to add cervical cancer treatment to its list of infection and diseases to treat. The clinic, which boasts of professionals with decades of experience, is to offer clients timely service other facilities fall short of. Lena House has made it clear that it is aimed to augment services other health facilities provide and not to compete. Medical director of Lena House Clinic, Dr. Kweku Efriye says the facility will soon be handling cervical cancer cases. No, at the moment we haven't established it, but we shall establish the facility very soon. As we said, we start small and grow. We have just opened the clinic. So within a short time, we shall have that facility too. As a matter of fact, Cervical cancer is probably the only cancer that can be prevented with a vaccine. If you have had sex before, it is advisable that you, you go to the hospital. They will advise you on what to do. If you qualify to have a pap smear done, they will do it and then advise you on the follow-up. And if you do this, then it is likely that even if you develop the cervical cancer, it will be detected early, early enough for you to have a cure. Chief Executive Officer of Lena Health Services, Richard Odor, assures prospective clients of quality service. Designed and fashioned to help people within the Tema metropolis as well as the rest of Ghana to access healthcare in an environment of serenity and respect where their medical needs as well as their health care needs will be completely taken care of. So we are here to inaugurate this facility and also to let everyone know that we are here to serve them and to help them keep their health in good shape. Well certainly this facility has many units those who are taking care of directly all the patients, we have the labs, we have the scans. So in terms of job creation, we're creating a lot of jobs. We have three doctors in this facility for now. We have a dentist, and then we have biomedical scientists, pharmacists, and many nurses. So in terms of job creation, we have created jobs. And we are affiliated with Top of Pharmacy, which has almost 100 employees. And we're hoping that this facility will grow and we even employ more people. Meanwhile, Tema Metropolitan Chief Executive Felix Anandla is assuring the private sector of government support. When you go out there, you get them. All the industries are there and all the businesses in the port areas are there. And I'm going to connect them, some of the industries myself, so that it will make them vibrant. I want to assure the people of Tema that His Excellency the President still have them in mind concerning issues of FK and will continue to support the private sector. We we'll support them in whatever they will need so that we establish more private healthcare facilities. Like, like I said earlier, which will create a, a whole lot of other businesses within the community. Financial partner of the clinic, Ecobank, expressed its appreciation with a citation of Anna to the facility. You're still on the pulse here with me, Gifty Andropia, on the Joy News channel.